Have you ever played in a game that when it's all said and done, this is how you react? I may have just spoiled the result in this video, but welcome to my first ever cup finals out here in my Sunday indoor league. I have to give some background about myself. For the past year, I've been recording with a GoPro in the back of my net, documenting all the good, the bad, the ugly that comes from playing soccer out where I'm at. I wasn't making content for YouTube at the time. I was only posting on TikTok my outdoor content that I had. We didn't make the playoffs in there, but this is my first time playing indoor. It's my first time in the finals, and it's going to be a really good game. We played this team in the regular season. This is actually the last loss that we took of the season back in weekend was against this team and we haven't lost since and to start this game it was me just being more of a vocal leader trying to get all of our defense in shape Now, to start this game, we were a lot more composed than we have been in any of our other playoff series. I talked about this matchup in my last video, but the last time we played this team, there was some very unfortunate situations that happened. Ball rolled through my legs, which is completely a fault of my own, and the deflection went perfect upper 90 on us that gave them two goals. Nice, Eric. Clear, clear. Go, Mr. Go! I definitely had some nerves and butterflies, but I feel like as a keeper, you just need to make one save and those all go away. Probably similar to how a striker just needs one goal and all those butterflies go away. I wish I could put into words how good that first save felt because I was pretty nervous coming in. I knew that they'd be aggressive, get a lot of shots on net, but getting my fingertips on that one was the best way possible to start. Seeing a lot of these clips and getting the ball played to my feet and just allowing things to kind of build out of the back, slow some things down, which we kind of got away from the past couple weeks. But this week we did do it. And then once we started finding that rhythm is where we started coasting. Now the throw I just had is not the most accurate, but it did set up the way that we score our next goal off this free kick as the ball hit the net. And the person to step up to take is none other than himself, the Albanian Eagle. Let's go! After we scored that first goal, uh, we were doing an excellent job of keeping the ball in their half. They maybe had some minimal attacks, but nothing too crazy. But you could definitely tell they upped the pressure a little bit. They started to actually press instead of giving us a space. <laughs> After holding them off for a solid part for about 10 minutes, they finally were able to tie it up. I think the toughest part about this goal is that I was so close to getting it there on my left foot, but also you could see it in the clip. I was pointing to the right side and calling it out, but now we knew we had ourselves a game tied up at 1-1. It's now time for free kick number two by Ami. For me, from where I was standing, this angle looked impossible, but he said the wall shifted too much. The goalie was in improper position, so he just chipped it up and into the top right side. And to pick up where we left off there in the first half, at the start of the second half, it was just a lot of ball movement trying to get them out of position before we started to make our attacks. Then I was able to register my first assist in the playoffs coming to the final. Go! My throws as of late haven't been the most accurate. So before the game, I've been throwing the ball at the very top corner bar piece and, and trying to make a hit five in a row. I did the past two games. They've actually been money. Now 
uh, with this being my first finals I've played in since middle school, I was constantly looking at the clock, especially when we had the lead. And each time I looked at it, I felt like it just was not making any progress. Hey, right here. Here, to the left. On the right. Down to the oh, and this next part, I feel like, is where I started to worry because it, it felt like mentally we just all weren't there. So a couple of things here could have gone differently. And you can see in the first screenshot, I probably could have gone out and grabbed the ball. The one thing that's a little bit deceiving where the GoPro is set up, there's about like an extra three feet to four feet to my left. So I don't think I would have been able to get to the ball. Two, I could have taken it off the wall and picked it up that way, but I never tend to do that just in case the velocity of the ball, I can't handle it correctly. A three, I don't think this was on me because by the time the ball was struck, that was actually outside of my zone. It is hard to see on the camera where the actual boundaries are. So I was relying on them to get it. We're definitely playing a little bit more conservative, almost like hold on to Lee, which I'm not usually a massive fan of, but this next play could have really shifted the entirety of the game, but I made the right decision. I feel like this play right here was the energy that our team definitely needed. Um, I turned up, I look over towards the ref, I saw his hand pointing the opposite direction, and he he made a very, very good call here. And you guys know on the channel, it's where I give Sunday League refs the benefit of the doubt. That goal put us up 4-2 with four minutes and seven seconds Germany. We just have to hold on for that long to be crowned champion. <laughs> And that's how the finals comes to a close. We take it 4-2 under crown champions of the third division out here in Rockford. Just want to give a big thank you to everybody who's been supporting the content, whether it's been in short form, you're out here on YouTube, you made it to this part of the video. I have some more uploads coming up. I still have my Tuesday league, about three weeks left of that. And then that'll lead right into my outdoor session starting. So I'm very excited to get back outside playing with my OG team as well. So I'll make sure to see you all guys in the next video.